Hey guys, I got a great question recently that I wanted to hop on and share with you guys. Um, so somebody asked, when it comes to breathing on the rowing machine or breathing while you're rowing, is there a trick to it? What do you do? Just what's up with the breathing part? Uh, what I find when I'm working with my clients is a lot of people actually have trouble slowing down and they, because of they have trouble slowing down, what happens is they're breathing really, really heavy. They can't catch their breath. And then after five to 10 minutes, they can't row anymore. So I'm going to go over a few things to think about when you're thinking about breathing. The first is when you are just naturally sitting, naturally standing, and we start to pay attention to our breathing. I know usually it ends up making us change our breathing, uh, but pay attention to what your natural breathing is. It's nice and slow. So it's usually about 12 to 20 breaths per minute, okay? And that's just a natural breathing. Now, when you work out, that starts to increase. If I start to do a, sl a slow jog or a speed walk, my, my breathing is going to increase a little bit, but it's not going to be huffing and puffing. Now, if I go sprinting, I'm going to be huffing and puffing. I'm going to be breathing more quickly and breathing more. So this is a little bit where the SPM comes into play or the strokes per minute or that little S slash M that you see on the screen. This is a little bit of where that starts to come in. If my stroke rate is really high and I'm going at like 30 or 36 or something like that, I'm going to be breathing faster. If I am slow at 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, those are slower breathing. So when I'm at about a 20 to 24, I'm breathing a little bit more quickly, but I'm not like a 30 where I'm in sprint pace. So. That's how this kind of correlates to when you think about activity you're doing daily, is it's really similar to the stroke rating here. So if you just pay attention to your breathing as you're going on the rowing machine and just pay attention to that breathing, as you start to speed up and your stroke rate is increasing, and as you're just going faster and kind of sprinting or just moving faster, your breathing is going to increase and that's normal. Okay. So there's really no right or wrong answer for the breathing. However, big components for the breathing, if we go besides the how quick, how slow, etc., component, if I have, if I am going at a nice and slow rate, that's really slow. I don't know what that is, 10? Let me see. Okay, so that's a 14. So if I'm going at a really slow rate, I can take lots of breaths throughout this stroke. The key is, What's changing that SPM or that strokes per minute is the part where I am going forward. The drive back where I'm pushing through my legs doesn't change, it's the same. This is what slows down, same, or fast, same, fast, same, and I can go faster, but it's only changing the way up, not the way back. So that's what controls that stroke rating. So if you can gain control of that, your breathing will start to come. Now, the part that doesn't change is that drive part where I'm pushing with my legs. If you think about weightlifting or doing heavy lifts or something like that, when they tell you to breathe in, breathe out, and when you do the movement, you breathe out, it's the same concept. So I'm gonna do breathe out when I go back. So it's going to be a big, and that's my release of air. And then I can catch my breath on this recovery. So this part where I go forward is called the recovery. So you're catching your breath there, which means you're breathing in that component. So if I'm going really slow, so I'm just going to do a few. If I'm going slow, So I got two breaths in when I was going forward and one huge breath out on the way back. Now, if I'm going faster, it might look more of a
it might turn into one breath. Uh, so it really depends on you and your breathing, uh, but you're trying to get, as your breathing increases, you're going to be rowing at a higher rate. So I don't usually get those long breaths in. It's because I'm thinking about it and changing it. Usually it's a, okay, let me get three breaths in, go. Let me get two quick breaths in, go. Uh, but I think the big comp key components are on the way back, that's your, your expelling of air, your breathing out, letting it go in, go out. And then I catch my breath at the end when my arms are going away and I'm going forward. So if you work on getting that recovery going forward slower, you'll be able to get more breaths in, but it's also going to change your SPM and it's going to make it so you can last a little longer if you learn how to control that. But for the breathing, don't think about it too much. The more you think about it, the more we change it. Um, so it's really kind of what not happens naturally for you, but that on the way back, that's your expel, exp, expelling, uh, expelling of air. Um, and that then you get your breath on the way forward. I hope that helps. Thank you for asking the question. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I hope that that helps a little bit. My name is Amanda. I'm the rowing doc. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day.